Hey everybody, this is Nate with the Lounging Trout. I'm down at JFK Park in Heber Springs about to do some fly fishing. There he goes, he got it that time. Ha <laughs> got him. Got him. Oh, there's one. Yeah, good take. Beautiful rainbow cut. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Good. There's one. Yeah. Good fish. Oh, 
Oh, came off. Dang it. All right, I'll get another one. You know what they want to eat now? So zebra mids. Fishies. Oh. Have a hit. Give a further out there. Oh, there's one. Yeah, good take. Small fish. Oh, there's a big one in the water right there. Holy smokes, that guy's massive. Maybe I'll hook him later. Come on, little dude. Oh, fighting good. All these other ones coming up to them. I don't know why they do that. I think they're trying to get a peek at the, the fly that hooked them, no, not to bite it. There's a big one over there, somebody hooked and broke off on. Man, these puppies fight. Do not want to be netted. Gosh, that one's big. I've got a size 16 zebra midge on here, and I'm fishing 7x4 carbon tippet. There we go. Yeah. It'll stop flopping. I'll pick the hook out. There we go. All right. Good hook set. The line's tangled under them. If I can get it without them flopping and hooking me. Buddy, look at there. Beautiful rainbow trout. Let him go. Bye, buddy. All right, let's try to get that big one. Actually, I'll take whatever bites. Big one would just be icing on the cake. There we go. It's not huge, but he is shaking his head. Oh, it came off. Dang it. Try this again. Oh, 
Oh, there's one. Yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, this one's fighting good. Trying to get me in that moss. people out on the water today. I don't know what it is. It's been over a week. Usually there's nobody out here. Oh, come on, get out of that moss. There we go. The 7X tippy, you really gotta play them or else it will break off on you. Yeah, there we go. 30. Good hook set too, right in there top of the lip. He's gonna be tangled around my rod. Here we go. Quick release. You get a little about those barbel hooks. D barb. Alright. Look at this orange on them. Pretty pretty. See you later. There's one. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, he's swimming towards me. All right, not real big. He's been about the same size. So they're really pretty right now. Look out. Hey buddy. Look at there. Super shiny skills. Alright. There you go. Go home. Get back out here. Really need to get some new fly line on this rod. This is real gold. It's a great fly line, but I've had it on this rod for way too long now. It's been on here for some years. And it's not slick as it used to be. It doesn't shoot as well. Kind of sticks in the eyelet. So hoping to get this line changed out soon. Right away, ha <laughs> This is a nice one too. Ooh, that's so much fun catching them on a dry. Ooh, this is a nice trout. Big old chonker. Big old fat chonker.
So even though I've got the 7X4 carbon on, four carbon sinks, and monofilament is better at floating, staying on the surface, but I tried some monofilament earlier, and I wasn't even getting any looks, but at the same time, they weren't hitting surface. So they weren't really feeding on drives at the time. So I, I just gotta do a lot more experimenting to see if fluorocarbon is actually the better bet for drives, even though it slowly sinks, or if I need to stick with monofilament. Oh no! Gosh dang it, he got up in that moss and came off. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, still got my fly on. Let me see if it's all intact. Like I want it to be. Yep, looks good. Go off the water. Bring the tail. Dang it, that was a nice fish. Well, that's alright. It's the name of the game. Fishing the D bar flies a lot harder to keep them on the line. You don't have that bar hooked in on to keep your hook set all the time, but this is a area that I'm fishing. You can't have a bar on your hook, which is fine, but it just makes it a little more difficult. floating it's coming up on a fish that's been popping see if it'll take right here right here nope not even looking at it let's try it out here there's some swimming around maybe maybe no oh, he ran off from it leave it for a second see if somebody else wants to come up and grab it Takers. How's this thing go here? I'm looking at it. Nope, it's going past it. There we go. Nice take. Alright. Not this one. If I can get these little ones in. This is those big ones. They like coming off. Magic work. Quit. A little stalker trail. You can tell by his fins here. See you later, bud. Right. You always want to check your dry fly afterwards too. See how the tail gets all crinkled up. Make sure the tail's in line. It's not wrapped around your hook. Blow them off. You want your uh, wings to be upright I'll kind of squeeze them too to help get some of that water out of the dubbing and Normally there's some shake stuff you can put them in that helps dry them back off, but I don't have any of that Yeah, get some Line all wrapped around Ooh, 
pull it through. Let's see what happens here. Pull that line through. Here we go. Back at it. Where they're talking. Oh, got a big one. Got a big one, guys. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Oh, I need to get him on the reel. Oh, this is a nice one. I hope he doesn't come off like the last one. I've right, got my drag set. Oh, this is a nice fish. Come on, stay out of that moss. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a nice rainbow. Come on, come on, get close to the shore. Try to land it at the shore if I can. Oh, I'm going to run. Oh, come on. Don't run back over there. That's where the one got off at earlier. Come on. Nope, nope. Get out of that moss. Let me put my glasses on. I got my glasses off. Earlier it was darker. And there wasn't really too much of a glare on the water. So it made it hard for me to see. But now that the sun's out, it's got that glare. I need my polarized glasses on. Gosh. Usually how it works, they'll come up to the shore, let you see them, and then they say, oh, see you later. Come on, buddy. Big old rainbow. Big old strong Get close, get close. No, 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 no. Almost got him. Almost got him. He's tiring out though. Maybe. I'll say that. The big trout tire out quicker than those small trout do. They got a lot more mass to fight with. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Work with me, buddy. Yeah. Woo! God, they go that one. We just got to the shore so you can see it. Oh. Get them on the dry fly. The line wrapped around this. Now I think. No. He got teeth too. I'm surprised that line didn't cut off. Mm, had a good hook set. Ooh, wow, look at there. Man. I'm get some pictures on my phone real quick. To keep them in the water so they can breathe. Okay, guys, this is that big old rainbow I just caught. Huge. Sit high. Go back in the water.
struck at it, even though it was subsurface. There we go. Nice take. Yes. Man, it's so much fun. It's another little dude, but that's okay. I will take him. Come on, buddy. Ooh. Jumper. Something that happens with these little guys is when you don't fight them for very long, you get them in quicker because they don't have a lot of weight to them to fight with. They uh, they want to fight when they get in the net. So they'll flip around a lot. So usually I'll keep the net pulled for just a minute. Not a minute, a few seconds. And then, hmm, he's got really good hooks set in them. Um, but yeah, I'll keep the tension on the line for a second while they're flopping around. And uh, that, that kind of gets them to stop for a minute. You get them to face the right way. Don't cut away. I have to do my heckle pliers on this one. Come on. Guys, I just hooked a big one on the zebra bed, just like I was talking about earlier. Oh man, I wish my GoPro was working. I'm gonna have to pause it and let you guys see it whenever I get it in. You guys, check this sucker out. Call him on the zebra bed. You guys. I just took this massive male rainbow trout. I cut my finger. You can see blood on it. I'm trying to trying to get up, get my hook out of his mouth. Oh my goodness. I mean heck, he, he's bigger than my net. He had somebody's fishing line caught in his stomach. I tried cutting it out. Look at this big old chomper. Holy smokes. He's massive. Big old male. All right, let me get him back in the water, back home. I'm sure I revived him well. Back at my truck right now. I'm gonna call it a day. Man, that big rainbow trout was awesome. I wish I could have got a better footage of it. Like I say, my my GoPro, the I just got it in. Came with like I think it's like a 32 gig memory card. When you're shooting 4K, it's not very much. And I think I don't know what all footage I got. I'm still new to using it, and I think there's some footage that I may have accidentally not got. So. I'll have to find out. I gotta get a better memory card. That that trout tore up my fingers. I showed you earlier, but you can see that my ring finger, my pinky finger, the teeth on it are real sharp. And uh, when I was getting my fly out and grabbing them and everything, it ended up cutting me, but it was all good. I'm gonna go home, put some alcohol on it, and uh, should be fine. I wish I had gotten a measurement of that trout. I wasn't thinking. I'm too focused on trying to get footage of it and 
Uh, I didn't have somebody here with me to say, hey, let's get a tape measure on it. But uh, I don't like having tried out of the water for a long time anyway, especially that size because it's real hard on them. So it's a good thing. Uh, you know, he got released pretty quickly. I did miss out on getting some good pictures, but that's okay. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I know a lot of you don't realize, but that helps out my channel so much. I'm hoping to eventually get monetized and have a little bit of income coming in to help pay for, you know, better film equipment and so I can be able to keep making these videos and make them better. I'll wrap it up with that though. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.